she pop pee pop pee pop pee pop ke pa sa sa pa se what they do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz don't know if you realize what was going on in that video it seems as if the poor poor were on some sort of chase Chasing a couple of men in a vehicle, assuming it was men. These men are so skillful, don't know what they did, don't know the underlying story. Apparently, one of those persons in the vehicle decided that during this chase, he was going to let the driver, he was obviously the passenger, drive at a pace in which he could not be allowed upon him two foot. Run in a some sorts of corner without stumbling over. And then the poor poor would follow the vehicle with the driver or other persons inside. So I am going to play this once again so you could see it. And then I am going to speak about it. So people, hopefully you saw exactly what took place in this video. What this shows you is that these criminal elements and people, I cannot say with 100% surety that this is indeed Jamaica. However, it is coming to a theater near you or it has been played in a theater near you. These people, anything them see, if one of them invent it, they are going to make it better them coming like 3m them not make a whole bunch of the stuff however they are going to replicate it and they are going to make it even better so i come to the conclusion that these people while they were driving being chased by the poor poor them decide say you know no sir whatever hot tool or hot merchandise that we have i am going to drive at a decent pace you got a whole lamp on the door, stand up on the edge, and then you got just bail off and run off, all in one coordinated effort, run to the corner, lay in at the cut, while the poor poor chase me. You then go back to the direction in which the poor poor was coming from. People, these are the sets of criminals that Jamaica poor poor have to deal with. Don't know if they are fully equipped don't know if they are fully aware but this is what people do to go on criminal activity and then avoid getting catch or at least avoid getting caught with the tool them people are fast like 10 b a t t y men mixed with your seeing bowl so therefore me know so some of these poor poor used to run at champs but these people them craft them swift them full of sykes them full of style and that is what they are using to outmaneuver or outsmart the poor poor. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called, it seems as if the good always dies young. I am speaking about a nine-year-old youth, Shamar Walker, that lost his life in Maypen about a day or so ago. Based on the information, it is said that young Mr. Walker was at some sorts of storefront in the yard. He was watching TV amongst a set of other people. When one young man that was in the crowd, sitting down for about 30 minutes or so, his name is Mr. Brian Walker. Him then wheel and pop off and blaze up some can in a direction of the shopkeeper, the shop owner. The young youth was hit him and the shopkeeper were taken to the place of recovery. Mr. Walker, nine year old, succumbed to his injuries. Less than 24 hours, the poor poor had a person of interest, had a suspect. Brian Williams, 25 year old, from the same area. Now, people, I am not sure if these people are just fully dunce. Don't know if they think it true or don't know if they are possessed by some sorts of demon. But it seems as if they are tired of freedom and even was tired of living. Because this youth is said to be from Maypen. The crowd that he was in, couple people know him, couple people know where he live. 
So therefore, when this incident took place, based on what the Popo is saying, the shopkeeper was a target. So it was not as if this man was an unknown assassin. People knew him. He's from the same area. People, them always say, do not S-H-I-T where you sleep, where you rest your head. Because more than likely, the chances or possibilities are you are going to get caught. I want you to take a listen, take a look to what the SSP for the era, his name is Mr. Russell, has to say about Mr. Brian Williams. And then I am going to give my piece. The police is seeking one Brian Williams. He's 25 years old of a Windsor Avenue, Mapen. We believe that he can assist us in our investigation. And we are asking him to turn himself in to the nearest police station. Anyone that has any information that can assist the police, we are asking you to contact the Mapen Police Station at 876-986-986. 2208 or you can contact us through police emergency line 119 now people don't know if these youths just want to make sure so people know so them fully don't them fully cannot s-h-o-o-t and they are very scared they are some p-u-n-k-s don't know if them read the memo Look on the notice board and realize, listen, whenever any little picnic involve, then the investigation, the manpower, the interest, the priority becomes even more serious. They are going to hunt you down 9.99 times out of 10. You are going to be held in a couple of days. If you're lucky, you end up in the big yard. More than likely, you're going to end up in the G-R-A-V-E yard. If you're bad, you're bad. And not to say that I am glorifying any sorts of badness. You go for your intended targets. You know which part she walk. You know which part she there. You see her right there. Not saying that I am encouraging anybody whenever them go for them target. For just pull up and put one in them head. However... You are so bad that you see a target, a woman, an arm, you have a tool, and you couldn't finish the job. You are so bad that you get weak in the knees, and you start blaze up all sorts of wild shots. Lick the nine-year-old, the target that you went for, but she got injured. However, the nine-year-old that have nothing to do with nothing, end up losing his life. Because you are a coward, you are a bad shoot, you are just fully dunce. Seems as if you are on some sort of take for yourself mission or go to jail mission. The people in the community are say, listen man, that you are a nine year old, hard working, anything you ask him, he is a hustler. If you want water, if you want anything at the shop, you just call him and him do it and you give him a minimal fee. Everybody love him because he is ambitious, he is a go-getter, he is a hustler. However, that hard-working youth at his tender age lose him life because some fully duns decides that they might go for a target and could not hit the target. However, hit somebody with stray bullets. People, sad situation in a Jamaica. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called misery. Love's company, bad mind is active, or just evil is in the air like a natural mystic. I am speaking about an incident that took place in a West Milan, Savannah Lamar or Savlamar, one of them by the bus park. Me no member wish part or wish part. Let me know in the comment section. Nobody coming in the comment section. Anna say, Anna Savlamar, a Savannah Lamar, people. The message is still the same. Based on the information, it is said that patrons was at some sorts of permitted party, drinking up, dancing the latest dance, a scope out something for the night. When they heard all sorts of loud explosion, they must say, hold on a minute, Jamaica can celebrate 4th of July, and 4th of July gone or soon come. What's going on? Is it some sorts of 21 gun salutes, even though that it is illegal? 
when them realize, no man, this ain't no sort of celebration. This is reason for run, reason for scamper. Based on the information, it is said that two men rode up on some sorts of bike, more than likely, yang yang possibilities are. Them then jump off, wheel and pop off, start to blaze up all sorts of can in the vicinity of the crowd. People start to run, put them foot on them and take for themselves like that dance, the old time dance. After the smoke clear, at least seven persons got hit, including one lady that was grazed by her belly, by her stomach. She said that she just heard all sorts of loud explosion. Then she felt some sorts of burning sensation. When she looked, she said people had take for themselves. Based on what the popo also said, there was also a vehicle that was sprayed up. That vehicle was leaving a location by the exit near that vicinity. Don't know the status of those persons in the vehicle. Doubt that they got hit. Maybe they are included in the seven. Now when you think about stuff like this, like I told you before, the theme of, theme of this is misery loves company. These people, it seems as if them get na them feelings when they are at their house, miserable as H-E-L-L. -L, and then them hear other people are enjoying themselves. The only thing that is in their mind is how they can cause some sorts of misery. How they can spoil person's joy. Popo say that they have no sorts of motive. People, I am wondering, a place like West Milan, how is it that this promoter actually got some sorts of permit? I am thinking that this is bad man. I am thinking that there are other persons that want to hold some sorts of party. When they go to the Popo station to apply for some sorts of permit, they were turned down. So I say this to say that persons were probably looking on the motive could be in the operative word. And I say, then hold on. Oh, this person get permit. Nobody else can get any sorts of permit. 20, 30 people try. Everybody get turned on except one out of 30. Why is this person so special? There must be some sorts of curry fever. Some sorts of corruption exists. So therefore, they were going to make sure that that one promoter was going to have his party spoiled. So therefore, if we can't have our party, nobody else can have for them party. People, this might be a case in which the good will have to suffer for the bad. Because we hear the popo, tab popo already say, Listen, no sorts of permit now and grant to any sorts of place where there's a whole bunch of S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G was any sorts of M-U-R-D-E-R. So we see that the promoters in our Westmoreland and those adjoining areas will now have to suffer because one set of people decides that they won't have to spoil the joy. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, Please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.